Hello everyone. In earlier lesson of the Ansible series, we discussed how to create a simple playbook. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to integrate Jenkins with Ansible. Hi, my name is Robin Gotham. I'm AWS certified cloud and DevOps engineer. Follow along with me till the end of the video so that we'll learn how to integrate Jenkins with Ansible. So let's get started. So here I'm in my AWS management console in EC2 dashboard. You can see I have one instance running. And I have put 8080 open for Tomcat in my security group. I have already installed Ansible and Jenkins in this instance. You can refer to my previous video for configuring the Ansible and Jenkins from scratch in AWS. Or you can also run these scripts after your instance is launched for installation of Jenkins and Ansible. Here I have Ansible and Jenkins installed in my same instance. So let me go to the Jenkins dashboard using this public IP. So once I am in my Jenkins dashboard, first let me start installing two plugins. So for that let me go to manage Jenkins. Let me go to the available and install two plugins. But since I already have installed those plugins, I will show you which plugins to install. First go and install the Ansible plugin which will invoke the Ansible ad hoc commands and playbooks. After that you can install the Office 365 connector plugin. So once you have those two plugins installed, let's go ahead and create a new item. So let's create a freestyle project and named it as Ansible. So since we installed those two plugins, you can see I have Office 365 connector over here. Also, when you go to add build step, you can see invoke Ansible ADA command or invoke Ansible playbook or invoke Ansible vault option over here. So in this lesson, we are not covering about Ansible vault, but we are going to cover about invoking the Ansible playbooks. So here, let me start with just executing a shell saying, who am I? And let me also execute PWD. And let me build now. So when I hover over to the output, you can see I am the Tomcat user. So who am I is the Linux command which tells you which user you are. So here I am Tomcat user and the path it's looking for is inside the workspace. So this Ansible directory is created because we have our job named Ansible. So let me copy this path and let me go to my instance over that path. You can see I have Ansible directory over here. So if I go inside that directory, I don't have anything inside it. So let me create one directory called playbooks. So let me go inside that directory and let me create a file called create bucket. So here I'm going to write a simple playbook that creates a bucket in AWS S3. So here I'll start with my hosts as localhost. 
Note that I have my Ansible configured on localhost right now. And for gather facts, I'll do no. So on tasks, let me add a task name, create a new yes3 bucket. And we have AWS yes3 module, AWS underscore yes3 module. So here, on this module, we have to specify the EC2 region. So here we can specify as US East 1 and for bucket name let me specify as Cloud Yeti Bucket for Jenkins Ansible. So we also have more for this uh, AWS underscore yes3 module where we can specify whether to create or whether to put the files basically specify the action so here I'll specify create so let me save this file so let me go to our EC2 instance and let's attach the role so you can go to instance setting and go to attach or replace IAM role. Here you can see I have already created a role and attached a policy for AWS yes 3 full access. So you can create the role and select the AWS yes 3 full access role and apply it. So with that role, I can push the changes to my bucket. So let me go to our Jenkins job and under Ansible configure. So on the configure, let me go to the build step and add one more build step for invoking Ansible playbook. Here let me give the path of my playbook. So when you refer over here, the path for my playbook is under playbooks and I have the file called create bucket YAML. So once I specify the path, let me save the chains and build now. So you can see the job has been succeeded and if you hover back to the yes3 so once I am in my yes3 you can see I have that bucket created over here cloud reality bucket for Jenkins Ansible. So let me go to my playbooks again. So you can see in this EC2 region, I have specified US East 1, which basically creates the bucket in this region. But what if we want to have an option to choose in Jenkins? So we can do that with build with parameter options in Jenkins. And I'll show you how we do that. So let me go to my Ansible. And let me click on configure. So on this Office 365 connector, let me click on this project is parameterized option. And let me add a parameter. So you can select a various parameter over here. Now let me select a choice parameter. And in choice parameter, let me select AWS region for a variable and let me give an option for that variable saying US East 1 or US East 2. 
So once you have this project is parameterized option for this variable, I need to also add this thing on the invoke Ansible Playbooks Advanced option. So let me click on Advanced. So let me add an extra variable. Over here, let me specify AWS Reason and let me call that thing using $AWS Reason. Let me save it. So once I am done with that, you can see the build option is now set to build with parameters options over here. So what if I click this build with parameter options, you can see basically I can choose from two different regions. So let's say this time I want to choose the US is 2. But for that, I also need to make change over my playbooks. So let me make the similar change over here for naming the variable. So I have specified the same variable option over here. Also note that we need to change the bucket name because once the bucket name is already taken, then we cannot specify the same bucket even in different reason. So let me name Cloudiative Bucket for Jenkins Ansible 2. Now let me build with parameters and select US is 2 and build it. So when you go back to yes3 now and refresh this page, you can see I have another bucket called Cloudiety Bucket for Jenkins Ansible 2, which is in US is 2 region. So you can basically see the difference over here. So now, let's say I want to add some files inside this bucket. So for that, let me first go outside of the playbook directory and create a directory called files. So let me go inside that directory and let me create a simple text file, taste.txt and hello cloudiety so let me go back to my playbooks and let me go inside that file so let me add another block to add a file to the bucket so basically i'm including the same module called aws cs3 And on the bucket, so instead of specifying the same bucket over multiple places, like in this case, we can use the option to set facts. So instead of copying that bucket name over here like this, we are going to use the option for set facts. So under this task, let me create one more task to create yes3 bucket facts so over here let me set fact so set fact is a module which helps you to call the variable in different tasks inside the playbook so here, let me specify a variable saying my bucket name. And over here, let me give the name of my bucket. So here, let me delete this bucket name. And let me add this variable called my bucket name. So over here, let me copy this variable 
and let me paste that variable over here in Jinza 2's template syntax format. Also, let me name that same variable over here. So once I am done with that, let me create a mode. Here we want to select an option for put because we want to add a file into that bucket. And in object submodule, we will specify the object of yes3 that is test.txt. It is the file that we want to upload to yes3. But in order to specify the path of that file, I'm going to include the source, yesrc options. So I'm going to copy the path of that test.txt file. So here I have specified the path of that test.txt files. So since I have Cloudiety bucket for Jenkins Ansible 2, which I had created in the US East 2 region. So let me go to my Jenkins dashboard and build with parameters. Let me select the AWS region where I have that bucket and you can start a build option over here. And when we go over to ES3, over this bucket, you can see we have test.txt file over here. Hope you enjoyed watching this series. See you in next lesson. Thank you.